Welcome again to another tutorial on Stata. Uh, in the previous video, we saw how to import data set, how to browse through the data set, how to describe our data, create a simple, create simple graphs. Today we are going to look at uh, how to clean our data set, how to record into variables, categorization and everything. So let's go ahead and use one of the sample data sets. Uh, go to example data sets. We are going to use this one, uh, auto2. Or you can use uh, a command sys use auto2.dta. So looking at our database, we browse and we look at it. So we see still we have a numerical, we have uh, the categorical, and we have the, the, the string variables. So in the previous video, we looked at how we can change this into the, we can look at how to change the string into the categorical. If you didn't watch it, uh, you can go back and look at our first video, the previous video. So today we are going to look at how to record values in order to create categorization. So first of all, we can create categories from, uh, from continuous data. Let's say, let's summarize miles per gallon. Uh, we have from 12 to 41. So let's uh, describe, let's look at how it is distributed. And uh, by looking at this, the distribution, we shall look at the histogram. So we shall look at the histogram of miles per gallon. Uh, we can just decide to look at the histogram like this. So we can see, but uh, here we have density. So you want to look at a histogram with frequencies showing number of uh, cars, maybe. Now, now this is not now. Yes the number of cars versus the miles per gallon. So we shall go back to our command in the command window. Click on that command such that it comes back here in the command window. Put a comma frequency. So it will show us the number of cars versus the miles per gallon or mileage which is a miles per gallon which is uh, from uh, we saw it was from 12 to 41. So now looking at this, looking at this graph, we can categorize and we say those cars which have uh, miles per gallon less than 20, uh, those who which have uh, from 20 to 30, and those which have above 30. So if we want to categorize like that, we shall use a command we call record. So record, we are recording uh, miles per gallon or mileage. We are recording from minimum, which could be a zero, through, we are saying zero less than 20, that means through 19, and we shall give that a category of one. Then from 20 to 30, we shall give a category of two, and from above 30, which is that one, and above to the maximum, we shall give a category of three. So now, uh, be careful here. When you press enter right now, it will record within this variable. It means miles per current will, will no longer be continuous. So you will lose this variable and it will be categorical. In order to eliminate that, we put a comma and we create, we generate a new variable, which we use a command generate or gen. A new variable, we can call it mpg categorical. Then we can create an, yeah, we can press enter and we will see the miles per gallon will be here. So uh, one of the things is uh, you can create it this way. I will show you a different way. So when you tabulate uh, in the miles per gallon, you will see we have three categories, one, two, three, the ones we created. 
so we, I will, I'm going to show you another way which is the long way how to create this these categories you can first generate the variable called miles per gallon uh, which is a categorical and uh, you can label it or you can start it with it is missing you can say generate mpg is equal to dot dot means missing in a stator when you press enter you will see that 71 missing values have been generated so we are going to start replacing all entering data into this category so we shall say uh, uh, replace replace mpg cut is equal to one if if the mileage uh, if mileage is between is uh, is between uh, 14 we saw our minimum or 12 minimum is between 12 and 19 that means if mileage per gallon is greater than 12 and miles per gallon is less than 20 yes that will be our first category then the second is uh, okay miles per gallon less than 20 yes i think we are we are on the right track so uh, then miles per gallon the second we shall replace category two is equal to two if miles per gallon is greater than Oh, uh, in the first one we had to include a 12 so if you say if mileage per gallon is equal to 12 it means you are excluding 12 we had to say is greater or equal to 12 so you can just go back and uh, change that so nothing will be affected uh, we shall just include those ones we had missed so we're going to create a second category which will be category 2 miles per gallon from 20 to 30 is greater or equal to 30 and miles per gallon is less or equal to we said from 30 to was it 30 to 40 yeah 30 to 40 Was it 30 to 40? Okay, now let's go back and do the histogram. No, no, no. Then if we don't go the histogram, we shall go back here and see. We said from 20 to 30. Yeah. So replace 2 if uh, is between 20, greater or equal to 20, and this all equal to 30. So if we do this, we shall see if we make this mistake again then we shall have uh, all these ones also included in the second variable in the second value in order to eliminate this we shall drop the the, the, the variable i think this is, has been a good uh, experience such that you learn that so we are going to drop this and this is why we need what we call the command window or the history window so we go back and just double click uh, our commands generate so it comes then we this was the second uh, yes this was the second greater all equal to oh no okay yeah this is number two then number one is equal to one if yeah from 12 to less than 12 okay then we are going to number three category three is between is between 30 and above so that is greater than 30 miles per gallon is greater than 30 so if you tabulate the second one you see it's the same as the first one so you will see that it's the same but this is a long way and uh, 
you have to rename this label you have to give a, a label here we don't have a name for this label so we can give uh, a label a label name by doing a simple command you can go through the data the variable manager i'm going to show you the two ways so you can go through the variable manager click on it and give a label which is mpg category apply so it will come so this is the this is the command that uh, has created this label you can see uh, if we wanted to rename this we shall just say label variable mpg cut miles categories you see it has renamed it so that's how we rename uh, these variables but then we have these categories if you give uh, someone who doesn't know the car the var the the this uh, database you will not understand what you mean by one two three so i'm going to show you the two ways in which we are going to to rename these values that we have given to these three categories the first one is to go through the variable manager you look for the mpg then you manage value value labels you manage value labels so you create a label which is mpg the variable name is uh, mpg cut then you give value one means uh, less than 20 you add value two means from 20 to to 30 and value 3 means from uh, more than 30 so you add and say ok so when you close you are going to come here and tabulate this it will still show uh, the label values in order to make them appear as the wordings we have given we are going to type this, I mean to type this command label values mpg cut mpg cut. So we repeat the variable. So if we tabulate again, we shall have our labels given to the values. So if you browse this variable you will see that it has given these categories uh, in a blue format in the blue color which means it's a categorical variable so the other way by not going through that long process you can just say label define this variable so one means less than 20 then 2 means from 20 to 30. You realize we are putting quotes because it's a string. Every string has to be in quotes. 3 means greater than 30. So you label values. MPG cut, MPG cut. When you tabulate, you will get these labels so you see that's the those are the ways how we are how we can categorize our variables we have also learned how to rename the label so we can also learn how to rename rename a a variable for example this uh rep 78 so rep 78 we shall can go back in the variable manager 
and rename it from here which we can say repair record so one thing you should know the variable name doesn't have to have a space so we use an underscore so you can apply and it has been renamed or we can rename using if this is the command that we should have used if we opted for a command so we can rename one of these cut type maybe we can say rename rename foreign to cut type oh sorry rename foreign We don't need the quotes yeah you see so we have learned how to rename a variable how to label a variable how to create uh, categories how to use a record variable I mean a record command and things like that how to generate a new variable in a stata so i think we are good to go with a stata let's uh, summarize if you want to know let, okay let me introduce something about missing variables uh missing data so if you want to learn how to, if you want to know uh if you have missing values you can browse you can browse and you will see these dots all you can go per variable while pressing, while writing a command of codebook, we can say maybe GR ratio. We have no missing in GR ratio. Codebook. Uh, make model. We have zero missing. Then record repair. Yeah, we have five missings. And you can see the labels are zero I mean one to five then we have a dot which is a missing so we shall learn how how to clean these missings in the next video uh, keep with us thanks for watching please like our videos subscribe to our channel we need those subscriptions thank you